This video is brought to you by Knowledge at the Australian School of Business. It's the middle of the winter and most people get around to doing that thing that we hate every year, filling in the annual tax return, going along to accountants and giving them the odd four or five hundred dollars just to fill in the tax return that goes off to the ATO. There is a much better way. It's been adopted in New Zealand. The UK has pretty much uh, had the system running for, for uh, several decades. That is, people pay tax at source, P-A-Y-E, and never have to fill in a tax return. Assuming their tax affairs are pretty simple, they don't have property, they don't have investments, they just earn money and spend it on their own house. It's a system that many people have proposed that we have in Australia, but accountants and uh, indeed some sort of tax professionals seem opposed to it. Chris Evans, a professor at the Australian School of Business, has looked at what would happen if we do scrap the annual tax return. So Chris, many people hate the fact that they have to fill in a tax return every year and go along to an accountant. Is there an easier system? Well, of course, in, in many countries in the world, you don't fill in a tax return. If you take the UK, you take New Zealand, for example, um, very few taxpayers there have to fill in. It's only the taxpayers with more complicated tax affairs that, that complete and submit an annual return. Um, otherwise, the tax system takes the right amount of tax at the right time during the year, and at the end of the year, you neither owe money to the taxman nor are you owed money. So we could look at um, changing our system away from what we call comprehensive filing, everybody has to file a return, into one where we've got much more selective filing. Only those with more complicated affairs need to submit a return. The rest of, you know, straightforward wage slaves, the people who've only got employment income, they've had the right amount of tax taken at the right time during the year, and there's nothing more to worry about. But Chris, I've been talking to Michael De Ascenzo, the uh, Commissioner of the Australian Taxation Office, and, and he was saying that people enjoy filling in a tax return simply because they get money back at the end of it. They treat it almost like Christmas when they get the cheque in the post. Well, it's, it's a rather strange way of looking at it. I mean, I don't prepay my electricity so that I can enjoy getting it back at the end of the year. Why would I enjoy prepaying my tax? paying it before I need to, um, and then getting a nice cheque back at the end of the year. It used to be a tradition in Australia that those cheques, those refunds, paid for the annual holiday or the fridge or something big. I think from the Commissioner's point of view, he's obviously interested in getting everybody to submit a return because it's a sort of command and control, you know, what's going on. But the point is they already know most of that information anyway. Um, the employers have sent in uh, the amount of tax that we've deducted. Um, they could, if they wanted, find the information from the banks about the amount of interest that's been paid to us or from companies, the, the amount of dividends that have been paid. So a lot of the information is already there in the tax office. It seems very strange that they want us to then write in, fill an annual return and confirm what most of what they already know. It would be much simpler just to wash us out of the system. Uh, and the uh, tax accountants themselves, those tax professionals who deal with it, argue that not only would thousands of them be out of work if uh, we just uh, adopted the UK system, but also people love trying to find little ways of claiming back just a little bit of extra tax. Yeah. That fun would go out of the system. OK, it's interesting there because, of course, you know, tax agents would be concerned about the loss of work. But when you speak to accountants, and we did a survey about four years ago with national accountants, we found that a lot of them said, Yes, get this trivia out of our lives and let us get on with what we're supposed to be doing, which is adding value to the businesses and adding value to personal taxpayers' wealth, rather than having to deal with this sort of you know, pathetic little refund each year with everyone. So there may well be some losers in the sense of some tax agents who do nothing else um, would no longer have um, this same tax agent dependency that we have currently in Australia. But a lot of other tax agents and accountants will be able to get on with some serious value-adding work rather than wasting time on, on petty compliance. So can we definitely say then that if we scrap the annual tax return, then the cost for individuals would go down? OK, they may not be claiming so much back, but we'd actually be paying less tax up front. Well, we'd be paying less um, to external advisors. We'd probably, if we cleaned out and simplified the system, be paying less tax. Um, and so there could be a win-win all round. I'm sure many people are crossing their fingers, hoping that we will change the system. Chris, good talking to you. It's a pleasure. For more business news and analysis from Knowledge at the Australian School of Business, please visit knowledge.asb.unsw.edu.au.